I was working with Sierra Vargas, and we loved the book, but we noticed that there, there wasn't, like for me, for Scuttle, and for her, for Ariel, there wasn't some favorite lines that we had from the uh, movie that was in the Broadway show. So we decided, the second day of rehearsal, that what we were going to do in this rehearsal period was to try to get as many lines from the movie that weren't in the show as we possibly could for each of our characters. <laughs> so we tried, and we actually succeeded in like four a piece. And every time we'd come out of rehearsal and we'd pass ourselves, we'd say, yeah, I got another one. <laughs> okay, good. That was a lot of fun. Um, another great thing about Broadway shows is that it's a new show, and they're trying things that work, and, and, and they try, and they try, and they try, and they see things that don't work, and sometimes they actually get it right, and they throw out the stuff that doesn't work. Sometimes they don't. You'd be surprised. <laughs> so, uh, one of the big things was our costumes. Um, the older people in the audience, and by that I mean people over 30, might know who Nick Nolte is. Um, so they decided that the seagulls were the garbage men of the, beast, the beach, and that we should look like really, really pathetic garbage homeless people. So they had us stipple our face, and they had this blonde wig, but like a dirty, blonde, greasy wig on me, and I looked like Nick Nolte on a three-day bender. <laughs> really scary. So that, that got changed. We also didn't have wings, which I was really sad about. They decided that they were going to knit these jackets with the thickest, whitest yarn that you could possibly imagine, and they were huge, and it was big, and we looked like the Stay Puff Marshmallow people. <laughs> and then they took Elmer's glue, and they poured it on us in places, and I said, what is this, this is what I think it is? And like, yeah, you're pooping on each other. I was like, oh, okay, what are you going with this? So the first day we did this number that I'm gonna do for you, we were all on the line, and it shed everywhere, and it just went up in the air, and it was like snow on the beach, <laughs> just coming down and breathing it in, it was horrible. But they finally did get it right, and we got to Broadway, and they gave me a new wig, and they gave me wings, and they gave me this really, 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 really cool song, and the only weird stuff was when I would go out to sign autographs, and they'd say, we loved your pelican, and I'd say, I'm a singer! <laughs> so, so you all know this, you know the movie, She's just lost her tail, she has her legs for the very first time. And I come flying in. What's this, you giving up so soon? <laughs> that ain't like you, kid. You gotta have a little gumption. A can-do kind of attitude. Take it from a gull who knows. Now look at me, you see this face. In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and savoir farewell, I guess there ain't a whole lot there yet. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I strap my stuff with lots of confidence. Cause though I lack an awful lot, there is one thing I got. I got positivity. I got positivity. It gives me the zen that is out with the yaddle on the level. That's why I walk with a wiggle in my waddle. Cause once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can do. So let that positivity work for you. You me? I see it work miracles. And he's a smoke, and he's a schlep, and this one doesn't got the sharpest rep. In fact, all three went out of death. Missed the day that brains were handed out. Still, and he's no sage, and he's no whiz. The whole world thinks that we are geniuses, cause all our screws may be unscrewed. But take our attitude, we got positivity. How about you? Huh? Got positivity, just try it out. It gives me the big and the bad and the Shrubbery. So stand right up and dust your seat and walk. 
walk real tall upon your own two feet. And sure, you'll trip. 